Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments, and today I want to walk you through how to set up this design and add the knockout around these letters or offset. So I'm going to be using Silhouette Studio. Um, I am using the Basic Edition. I do recommend the Business Edition just because it has more options, but you can do this in Basic Edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this page setup tab and I'm gonna change all of this to none since I'm gonna be printing. So I'm gonna change this to my paper size that I'll be printing on and then I can select to show my print border so I want to try to stay in this print border when I'm designing. So I've gone ahead and purchased the design off of my website. You can do that right here. It's called the Funky Leopard Pumpkin Nameplate. So once you buy this and you download it, you can save it to your computer. And what I do is I just take the image and I drag it and then I release onto my canvas or my tab. That way you don't have to have multiple tabs up here. Say I was going to do, say I was going to bring in multiple designs. I can do the same thing, just drag it and drop it. So it's way easier. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my text. So I'm going to use Mama and then for my font, we're going to go with this one. So I'm going to add a color to it. I'm just going to make it black. Okay. Now I'm going to size this in here. And I want my letters to be spaced out a little bit more. So I clicked on the font. I'm going to go to character spacing and I can drag that out just a tad. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and group all this together so I can move it around. Okay, now I'm going to add the names. So I'm just gonna start by typing, and then I like to use I Love Glitter. Okay, there we go. Now, a lot of times you see the hearts in between, like we have here. So to do that, you will have to push another key, which I'll show you. So I love glitters from thefont.com. Do be sure you might have to purchase this license, a commercial license, if you sell these as a final product. But if you scroll down, you can see all these extra characters. So here's this heart, here's this heart, and here's these fun endings as well. So you can see in order to get this heart, this is the button I need to push. I need to push this straight up and down. Um, I'm not sure what this is actually called, but it's on my keyboard way on the right side. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna edit this, and then I'm gonna add that in there. And then I'm gonna connect the two. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna add color to this. So I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool. I wanna use this same orange color right there and then I'm gonna it saves that orange color right here and I select that and then I'm also going to weld and then group okay so now I've got that and I can put this on top of here but you can see the names are kind of hard to see so this is where I'm going to add the offset so I'm going to select my words. I'm going to the offset panel right here and then I'm going to select offset. So you can see if I left it on the 0.125 inch offset this is where that would be. I don't want it to be that large so I'm going to drop it down just a tad and that looks good to me so I'm going to hit apply. Alright now if I, would, if I was going to just drag this right on top, you can see it doesn't really do anything. You can just see the outline of the offset. So I need to give the offset a color. So I'm gonna remove my letters, and then I'm gonna select this. I'm going to give it, let's make it white. 
So you can see I've lost it now. Um, so I'm just going to drag this over here. I'm going to set this up how I want it. And then I'm going to select everything and group it together. And now I will drag this back in. And there we go. So since I used white, it's not going to print white, obviously, um, unless you have a white toner printer. It's just going to leave this blank. So it'll look whatever the color of the shirt is, that's what color will be around here. Basically your races. I could, if I didn't want to use white, I could very easily make this another color. Um, maybe this green. And let's make the line the same color. I'll put this on top, group it together, and then put this back. And then you could really do another offset on top of this. Um, so I just went ahead and added two more offsets. So say you do have a printer that does print white, so you don't want this white outline because it will show up mm -hmm. as white. I'll show you what you can do instead. So we're going to select everything. We're going to go to the modify panel and then we're going to hit subtract all. And then if I move it, you can see that it has subtracted that area. So I want to put this back. So I still need to get rid of this white space. So I'm going to ungroup the offset in my letters and then select just that white area and delete it. So now you can see that area that was white is gone, but it, there's no color. So no color will print. So that is how you make this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And that is all.